You know, there are, there are seasons. Um, we know this from nature and we know from scripture that there are also spirit, uh, spiritual seasons as well. If you read Evangelist Bonke's autobiography, autobiography, Living a Life of Fire, you'll read in that autobiography how in the past he would travel the whole day to reach a village and he would arrive and only five people were there and even those five people didn't want to get saved. So we realize that even in Africa, it wasn't always the way that it is today. There weren't always the crowds of people that were hungry to hear the word of God. David Livingston said in one of his missionary trips that he had only been able to lead one African to Jesus and he said he wasn't even sure about that one. And so we realize that in Africa, we are living in a very specific season of harvest. It is a season where the Holy Spirit has created a window of opportunity for us to reach multitudes with the gospel. And this is the reason why we are going relentlessly with crusade after crusade to the African continent, because we want to seize this opportunity of a lifetime. Now, in the Western world, in Europe, in America, it's, we're not seeing the same size crowds. But that's okay. It's not about big crowds or small crowds. The point is that we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. We use whatever means we have. We use whatever platform we have to reach people with the gospel to the best of our ability. And so maybe we don't have hundreds of thousands of people gathering on a field night after night to hear the gospel, but we have television, we have radio, we have social media, we have the internet, we have street corners, we have all kinds of ways to reach out and to, to tell people about Jesus. And I think that rather than lamenting what we don't have, instead we should seize every opportunity that we do have and take advantage of it to reach people for Jesus.